Hello, tonight's story comes from the woods near my house. My name's Harry and I love to break up sticks. I grab a hold of them like this and then I give them a bit of a whack and I try and snap them. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Here's my owner, Granny Smith. Hello everybody. <laughs> I thought we'd do another little uh, story from the woods today, but you can't see my face today because I don't know how to turn the camera around. Not that you want to see my face when you can see a beautiful view like that. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Wouldn't that be nice as a painting? Tonight's story is called The Quangle Wangle's Hat. This was one of my favourite stories when I was a little girl and I found it in a charity shop just before Christmas and uh, I just love it and I keep reading it to Aidan because it's a great story. So tonight I'm going to read this story for you. So if you're ready for a lovely story, here we go. On the top of the crumpety tree, the quangle wangle sat but his face you could not see, on account of his beaver hat. For his hat was a hundred and two feet wide, with bells and ribbons on every side, and bibbons and buttons and loops and lace, so that nobody ever could see the face of the Quangle Wangle Quee. The Quangle Wangle said to himself on the crumpety tree, Jam and jelly and bread are the best food for me. But the longer I live on this crumpety tree, the plainer than ever it seems to me that very few people come this way. And that life on the hall is far from gay said the quangle wangle quee. The dog is going crazy as you can see. But there came to the crumpety tree Mr and Mrs Canary and they said did you ever see any spot so charmingly airy? May we build a nest on your lovely hat, Mr Quangle Wangle grant us that. Oh please let us come and build a nest of whatever material suits you best, Mr Quangle Wangle Quee. And besides to the crumpety tree came the stork, the duck and the bumblebee, the owl and the snail, the frog, and the fowl. Wow! The thimble fowl with a corkscrew leg, and all of them said, we humbly beg that we may build our homes in your lovely hat. Mr Quangle Wangle grant us that, Mr Quangle Wangle Quee. And the golden grouse came there, and the pobble who has no toes, and the small Olympian bear, and the dong with a luminous nose. And the blue baboon who played the flute, and the orient calf from the land of Toot, and the attery squash, and the biscuit bass bat, all came and built on the lovely hat of the quangle wangle quee and the quangle wangle said to himself on the crumpety tree when all these creatures move what a wonderful noise they'll be and at night by the light of the mulberry moon they danced to the flute of the blue baboon on the broad green leaves of the crumpety tree and all were as happy as happy could be with the quangle wangle quee. I hope you enjoyed that story. It is one of my favourites. 
I'm going to say good night now. Sleep tight. It's a bit windy in the woods right now, isn't it? I need to shout my dog. Shout him. Shout Harry. Harry. <whistles> Is he coming? Good night, everybody. Say good night, Harry. 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 He's saying, what are you doing? Don't go yet. You've left my lead. The clever, clever dog. Come on, Harry. Good night, everybody.